is from Martin Heidegger's History of the Concept of Time. It's a section, page 186, that deals with how the world shows itself. There's a co-presence and a manifest manifesting of environmental things that show themselves in co-presence. Now, this was a full moon night. It was dark, 5 a.m. This pickup truck hit a gravel pile. The gravel pile had been there for about a month and a half. Uh, neighbors asked for it to be moved and spread, but it wasn't. A man was driving back from Carlsbad, so the neighbors say, my encounter begins at 8 a.m. in the morning as I'm walking the dogs and I see this truck up on top of a gravel pile. I come back out and the neighbors have assembled. There's a codes officer vehicle with flashing lights. My neighbor is telling the story of seeing the man step out of the wrecked truck right after the accident and then walking away, first doing a lot of mad dancing around the truck because it was totaled. Code's officer is there. Neighbors are giving explanations. So far, the owner is not there. Owner had claimed that he was not driving the vehicle. Whoever was driving the vehicle walked away. Uh, Codes called the wrecking truck. The wrecking truck operator is really good. He attaches the front end of the truck and then pulls it part way off of the pile before he attempts to lift it up. Uh, here he's fastening chains. He's a really skilled craftsman, uh, knows what he's doing step by step as he pulls the truck out of the gravel pit and then proceeds. Coates officer is still there. Uh, some environmental aspects come to the foreground such as the wrecking truck and the operator who's uh, raising the vehicle up now, sliding it forward off the sand or pile. Actually, it's a gravel pile, but it's not going to take it all the way. He'll uh, actually drive the vehicle forward uh, and then bring the back of the wrecking truck down to ground level again. So really a very knowledgeable person is doing all of this loading of the pickup truck. So far the owner and or driver is nowhere to be seen, but he will pop up shortly. We don't know if it's just the owner or the driver exactly what happened. But we do know that the truck encountered, here you see the truck being pulled away from the pile, and now the, the truck will be lowered again. Uh, there you see it lowered so that the very skilled operator can pull the truck up. He has to redo the chains to get the truck centered. Uh, it's, it's a, I, I really give the uh, wrecking crew uh, Kudos because they picked up all the de debris, broken bumpers, undercarriage, uh, things that had fallen out of the truck when the two doors were opened, and were all scattered around, Blo broken headlights. They picked up all of these items and threw them in the back of the truck, the pickup truck. A lot of neighbors were stopping by, offering their uh, views, and filling in bits of history, how, where the gravel pile had come from, attempts to get a hold of the people doing the development across the street and get the gravel pile removed. My neighbor put these uh, barriers up a couple weeks ago to alert people. Here you see the owner driver.